if you was watching part four of the hammer mill, you'll be aware that I made a blunder. <laughs> or at least I think I made a blunder. I don't really know, to tell you the truth. Oh, dear. I was looking at this thing and going, yeah, it's going counterclockwise, when in fact it was... I'm... It was going the other way, anyway, to what I was thinking it was going. Um, don't really know why I made that mistake. Probably just rushing a little bit. I was trying to get stuff done. Not really thinking about what I was doing. So, we're looking at it now. So, if you saw me do a little bit of this um, last night, you know, it took a few minutes to get that, you know. So a whole bucket, we're probably talking, you know, a good half an hour, 40 minutes probably. I don't, I don't really know without sitting it, sending it off and timing it. Right. I don't think it's grinding fast enough. Um, and even though it's going the wrong way, I'm just wondering now whether I should change my whole plan and try and make something that is just a little more aggressive in terms of um, you know how quickly it will uh, grind that stuff up because we don't want to be sitting here for hours I mean I'd like to be able to grind a bucket up in five ten minutes you know um, let's look at what's going on inside here ha huh. what I've done is I've took the panel off the front and this is what was in there this stuff and actually this is this is actually what I want to be producing when I was looking at it, I'm like, yes, that's it. But, as you can tell, the soya beans there are barely, in fact, I barely touched at all, really, um, when looking at this. Um, but this is how I want it sliced up. Um, I'd rather have less powder, though. This fine stuff is not ideal. This sort of stuff is what I want. Something that they can digest. Um, but you can see it's broken most of the soybeans. I mean, there's still a few, though, that haven't been touched. Um, let me clean this mess up first, and then I'll, I'll get back with you to talk to you about what I think I'm going to... Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of brain power, this. <laughs> I may be stuck <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me round up some bits and pieces and we'll have a look at it. But that's what we've we've been left with. Right, brain has been activated. <laughs> what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. If we just put the bar in there, we're going to have to drill some holes and get it centred and make sure it's kind of balanced. But imagine that is centred right now. And it's pretty close. Um... I've already cut one of these blades in half and what I was thinking I would do is actually mount the blade like this um, it'll, be, it'll end up being a little closer than that um, I don't know which way around I'd put it I think I might put the cutting edge more like that um, so this thing so this is essentially just one blade um, and as it's going this way anyway the idea would be I might even put a a hardened edge along here the idea would be it catch these bits of corn here that are right at the end and just sort of smash them and drag them round and hopefully it'd be pretty close to this within an eighth of an inch all the way around and hopefully drive out anything that does get wedged as well the other thing I'm doing yeah I've just tried this out I've got a uh, what size was that uh, 1564 drill bit and let's look at these holes I've just tried this out I've just drilled these couple of holes the shiny ones there you can see how much bigger they are we might have a few spots where there's no metal between but I'll just get over that um, yeah that's better that's easier to see you can see the size difference there and a soybean still won't go through that so I think that'll eliminate the the kind of slowness of it coming out of the machine what i'm gonna do drill three holes um one so i can align them this make sure the center aligns pretty decent with this with this here 
And that looks like about a three eighths hole. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill three um, half inch holes because my bolts are half inch. And then, um, and then I'll be able to double check that it's aligned. And then I can also, if I put a center mark in here, I can kind of just see if it's balanced or not. I don't know whether I'll be able to balance it or not, but at least I'll be able to at least attempt to. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to weld that on the end. Oh, and I'm going to drill these holes out. I can only reach from about here um, with the drill down to wherever it is about here. So, but that's okay. That'll give me a rough idea of whether that's going to work or not. And if I decide, I could go ahead and remove, cut that out. It would only take 10 minutes, but I'm lazy, so and I don't want to mess with it. But anyway, let's try that out first. Um, I've got a sneaking suspicion. Had I left the blades on there, actually, it wasn't working. It wouldn't have worked too bad with just drilling the holes out. But um, that's probably what I should have done first, was made them holes a bit bigger and seen if that improved it. All right. I'm back. Oh, I'll take this blade fast. I'll see what Okay, guys. Um, let's cut straight to into it. What we've got done. Um, I should have done this. I should have showed you what I this blade before I put it in there. But you can see it. This is one end of it, um, and you can see the. Uh, I just left the cutting edge actually closest to here, to the outside. I'll just go like that, Dan. You can see what which way around it is. See, see where the bevel goes. Okay, so I'm trying not to breathe too much because I'm steaming everything up. Um, anyway, seeing as we were, going, we were going the wrong way anyway, so what I've also done... So, here's the bar. Um, I had to cut the end off of these, these bolts. I've cut probably an eighth of an inch off there. That should not touch the casing now. The rest of the bolts look fine. Um, I drilled my holes, got everything on center. I even am looking pretty close to being in center there. Seem to be pretty well balanced. Um, you can't really see that in there, but I can go under the light a little bit. That's much better, Dan. Why didn't you do that to begin with? Um, I just tried to weld that in there and I've just burnt the edge off. But what I did is I took a little piece of blade um because i was worried this would just wear away here this um this mild and i just so i just took a bit of an edge of a blade there that i had um left over from what i cut these pieces out of and um just put a weld along there i was hoping this edge would have stayed but it just started melting off i had the welder turned up too much i suppose um but anyway you can see what's going to happen hopefully that corn will get there and just it'll just smash between those two pieces of blade as a pretty it's pretty close when it's coming around there now and then i'll just put these bits in here so you can just see you know it's catching them now so hopefully it'll continue to grind them bits up as it comes around I, i'm going to finish drilling these holes out a bit bigger now and then i'm going to put the cover plate back on and then we're going to do a test run and see if it works and I hope to God it works a lot quicker than what it was doing. Okay, I've had a drill. I haven't drilled out every single one as you can tell because the meat was getting a bit thin between some of them because of my little bit of randomness earlier on drilling. So, but I think that'll work. Yeah, we'll put the cover on, we'll try it. I've got some corn in there. <laughs> Let's open this up, i got a little... with that that has taken literally oh, I was looking at the thing I think three and a half minutes to do a third of a bucket and 
Boy, it's ground up real nice. Uh, it's a bit flowery. It's a bit more than I'd like, but for chicken food, that'd be great. Um, I mean, for them lambs, I think it'll be all right. Um, it is a bit flowery, but... And then I could just put my nuts in between all that. My pellets, I mean. Not my, not my nuts, my pellets. Um... I like the look of it. Yeah. Success. <laughs> I don't often say that, success. But no, I've, I'm pretty happy with that. That'll probably just take about 10 minutes to do a bucket. You know, a five gallon bucket full. Um, yeah, I'm well happy with that. That'll do for chicken feed anyway, that's for sure. And I'm going to try and feed this to the lambs. Because I don't really want to be buying a ton of pellets um, oh I was thinking I might put the pellets down through in with it as well but um, yeah I probably maybe yeah the maybe the way to have done it would be to cut a little slot out where I where I put that um, little shear on just above the sieve there the bit that I said, what well, um, the edge came, you know, I melted the edge off a little bit. If you could make that where it was adjustable in and out, say, a quarter of an inch, that would be the way to do that. Because you could probably adjust your cut a little bit. Well, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That is, um, look at it in the daylight a bit more now. That's, um... Yeah, that's that's all right. That's uh, three sixteenths down to dust. Um, I'm going to go and put a little bit in for the lambs actually now. I'll come back and see what they make of that in a minute. Oh look, there we are. Oh, as long as they don't all flip and blow up and die, we'll be all right. Hi, right, I'm gonna say ciao for now. Hi, right, ciao, bye. Y'all get a death, death, death.